You know what you're saying? I'm telling you what to do. You're not telling me what to do. Sometimes when sickness and disease starts coming on you, symptoms try to come into your body, I want to give you a little practical tip. Go to the bathroom. Go look in the mirror. You know, most bathrooms have big old mirrors, you know, in front of the sink. Look right into your eyes in that mirror because the eyes are the windows of the Look right into your eyes and you say, all right, listen to me, body. I got something I'm going to say to you. Symptoms, in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you what you're going to do. You're not telling me what I'm going to do. And you tell it what you're believing. Flu, get out of my body. You're an illegal intruder and you've got no right. And you're looking right into the eyes in the mirror. It's a, it's a bit of a weird experience at first. Because we're so used to looking at our hair and our face and, you know, whatever. But we're not really looking from our eyes into our eyes. You know what the health industry tells us? Listen to your body. It'll tell you what to do. I tried that once and I ate the whole chocolate cake. How many know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. The cake was just saying, eat me, and I just, I, you know, I. No, what did Jesus say? You speak to the mountain and watch that mountain be cast into the sea. You speak to that situation. You declare what it is you're believing from your heart, not just from your head. And when you declare that, that's what you're going to see made manifest. So again, why not you and why not today? Amen? So he begins to say to them, to this dumb spirit, I, I love that so much, that dumb spirit, amen? I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Now watch what happened in verse 26. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, so he went from a seizure, now basically to a grand mal seizure. It, it looked worse initially. The spirit came out of him, and he became as one dead. So that many said, oh, he's dead. No, Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples were really smart because they're already dealing with a little bit of identity crisis right now. <laughs> and public would have been kind of embarrassing. So instead of doing it in front of everybody else, when they came into the house, everybody say, when they came into the house. When they came into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? Man, how many have been there? Been in a situation, been in a circumstance, Man, I got to tell you, you know, I've been in many healing searches. I've, I've seen, I don't even know. I, there's no way I could actually put a number on it right now. But I've seen countless thousands of people healed. But you know what really still bugs me is the people who don't receive their healing. Why, why didn't they receive their healing? 